day and welcome to this International Student Life. We tell stories and our story is international student education. We're based in Melbourne, Australia and we really appreciate you joining us for this first standalone episode uh, of International Student Education uh, in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, this is a very short introduction. Just to let you know uh, that this, uh, what's coming up in this episode. In this uh, particular video, you'll uh, hear a radio-style uh, commentary over footage of uh, Melbourne, Australia. Uh, we're taking a short walk down Flinders Lane to Flinders Street Station. And um, uh, during this video, over the next 20 minutes, what I'll be going through for you is a compilation of uh, an introduction to uh, Melbourne universities and open days for tertiary level education for international students in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, so we'll take a short break, uh, enjoy the sights and sounds of Melbourne, Australia. We'll be right back. Welcome back to this international student life. Uh, this vi this uh, episode is produced by Wise Words Media and Calumny Films. And uh, for the next uh, 17 or 18 minutes, we're just going to run through all the different open days coming up during February 2022. Now that Australia's international borders are open, and it's been two years since international uh, students and tourists and visitors, uh, even family that have been locked out of Australia due to our uh, strict uh, uh, border closures during COVID-19. We want to welcome you back to Melbourne, Australia, and boy, we can't wait to see you. Uh, so I hope you find uh, some of this uh, uh, summary information in this, in this um, uh, episode helpful to you. And for each university uh, we, we talk about in this episode, there'll be a separate episode about every university, the dates, uh, the events for international students, uh, because you are our audience and uh, we, we want to help you uh, settle into life in Melbourne and, uh, and begin your uh, international student experience uh, here in Australia. So we'll be going through them in alphabetical order. Uh, the first university, and these are all based in Melbourne, will only be, uh, will only be presenting information about uh, Melbourne-based uh, universities and universities only. Uh, at this point, we won't be giving you any information about uh, TAFE, uh, 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 institutions and colleges. Uh, we're hoping to add these later, but for the moment, let's get into it. Uh, the first university is the Australia Catholic University. Uh, their open day is coming up. Uh, all of these universities, their open days, uh, basically uh, during the month of February um, 2022. And the Australian Catholic University, uh, their open day is running uh, from the 22nd of February, uh, 2022. Uh, that's Tuesday, the 22nd of February, 2022, uh, to um, the 24th of February. Now, we're only listing the dates, uh, not the times at the moment. We just want to give you a feel for uh, the, the type of information you can uh, expect during this episode. And uh, as this channel evolves, um, and you'll be able to find uh, specific episodes relating to the university you're enrolled in or the university of your choice. Uh, we also consider uh, our audience to be international uh, recruitment agents based overseas, uh, as well as parents. Uh, we hope that you find this, uh, as well as your kids, a very useful resource. Uh, we'll move on to the next university uh, based in Melbourne. CQ University, which is the Central Queensland University. Uh, they have uh, course offerings here in Melbourne uh, and in Victoria. They have a single open day on the 3rd of March, Thursday, the 3rd of March, 2022. 
as we're moving down Flinders Lane, uh, you can see uh, the camera moving uh, in a westerly direction towards Swanston Street, towards Elizabeth Street. We'll finish up at Flinders Street Station and uh, uh, cross uh, over the Yarra River. Um, Deakin University is the next university for international students. They have quite a few days uh, during orientation week for international students. Um, Deakin University, it runs from uh, Monday the 28th of February 2022 through the 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. Friday the 4th of March is the final open day, uh, orientation uh, day, I should say. These are all orientation days. Um, later on during 2022, uh, we will be putting out um, uh, similar episodes around uh, open days. Uh, for those who are interested in attending open days, if you're an international student, uh, you might be completing year 11 or year 12. Um, uh, coming from overseas to one of our uh, secondary uh, schools here in Melbourne. Many international students attend uh, secondary school in Melbourne. You might be looking for open days uh, to help, uh, help you work out where you want to continue your uh, educational journey. Um, the next university is Federation University. There's just a single day, Monday the 21st of February, uh, that's a single day at Federation University for international students, your orientation uh, uh, to get you started. And keep in mind that uh, uh, a lot of our universities here in Australia are still finding their feet uh, after some really um, uh, challenging and trying times during the last two years with COVID. So a lot of these universities are running jointly uh, orientation weeks uh, in person on campus and uh, also online. Now a, uh, a good example of this is our next institution, uh, La Trobe University, based in the northern suburbs of Melbourne. And uh, they, uh, one of these universities along with RMIT that uh, are running online uh, orientation sessions as well as in person on campus. So if you're uh, enrolled at La Trobe University, you've uh, accepted an offer there to study at La Trobe University. Their orientation uh, week activities run uh, uh, for international students, mind you. This isn't for all students, our, our information in this episode, but Tuesday the 22nd of February and uh, also uh, Wednesday the 23rd of February. And uh, there's also um, uh, activities for all students and as a uh, example of how COVID is affecting uh, universities uh, re, uh, we're just getting back into face-to-face uh, -face learning and activities. Um, Monash uh, La Trobe University also has uh, for all students some activities on one of their sports ovals uh, with COVID marshals in attendance. Uh, but any further details about any, any details that you wish to find out um, in all circumstances, we urge you to check the university website for all information. Uh, Wise Words Media and Calumny Films, we can't accept uh, any responsibility for any errors or uh, omission of information. Uh, with all this information where we've compiled based off sources available in the public domain, and uh, we're just one avenue. Uh, we'd like you to consider as uh, one resource. We're independent. Uh, we're not paid by any of the universities for presenting this information. Uh, the next university on our list, Monash University, as uh, we're uh, uh, just moving halfway, uh, we're halfway through our episode there. You can see uh, the camera um, moving towards uh, Swanson Street on the, on the right hand side of the screen is uh, the Western, um, an upmarket hotel in Melbourne where some students, no doubt in the hospitality sector, are, are getting vital work experience during their studies or, uh, or applying their trade after graduation. Um, the camera will keep moving west. Uh, this is the main thoroughfare of Melbourne. The church on the left is St Paul's Cathedral, uh, a, a really good landmark to uh, help you orientate yourself if you're a first time arrival. and. Uh, if you're trying to uh, uh, get used to uh, how to get around Melbourne, in front of us uh, the camera's showing Swanston Street and uh, it's this street which uh, basically our entire tram network is based around and uh, if you uh, get on any of the trams travelling to the right of the screen 
uh, that'll take you up towards RMIT and Melbourne University to the left, goes out over the Yarra River and uh, takes you out uh, towards uh, um, uh, any of the, uh, the tram lines that carry you out into the suburbs. But as we know, most international students prefer to live on campus or close to it. So while the camera continues down Flinders Lane uh, towards Elizabeth Street and eventually it will take a left towards Flinders Street Station. And if you've got any feedback um, about this episode um, that you find it useful or uh, um, you find the radio style, uh, uh, the way uh, the information is presented, um, let us know. We're really keen to hear your feedback and also uh, how you find the conversational aspect of the audio in this episode. Uh, we know that for many Asian students, uh, English as a second language is a huge challenge to overcome and in a future episode we'll be profiling a Chinese uh, student uh, who had a lot of trouble with her confidence, created a lot of anxiety and that's such a common, a common um, uh, topic of, of uh, a hurdle that many international students from any country, not just Asia, have to overcome. Uh, to succeed in their studies. So please give us your feedback in the comments below. Uh, uh, anything that we can do to improve these episodes, bearing in mind that we've just launched, uh, but we, uh, we really see this as a valuable uh, resource and a tool uh, over the coming months. Uh, we'll see how it plays out, but uh, we, we do want to make sure that our audience is uh, well served by this information. So the combination of the footage and, uh, and the separate radio style commentary over the top uh, about different universities and different topics. Um, we hope that you're finding it useful. So uh, we've just passed the Graves Lane, a very famous uh, spot for uh, tourists and visitors. Uh, going back to our list, uh, Monash University next on the list and for international students, uh, and, and Monash University has uh, two uh, particular uh, activities that we've been able to um, uh, find and we can present to you. Monash University on the 15th of February and uh, this actually is uh, where we got the idea for this episode from that uh, the Melbourne City Laneway Tour Discover Melbourne event series for international students only from Monash University. Uh, between uh, 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock on Tuesday the 15th of February so that's actually in two days time which we hope to have this episode up today for you but um, uh, we really recommend you uh, if you are uh, enrolled at Monash and uh, you're new to Melbourne or even if even if you've been here for a while um, and you want to get back into more social face-to-face -face activities, why not join Monash University's Melbourne City Laneway Tour Discover Melbourne Event Series. All details, as I said, please check uh, the uh, Monash University website and the international student pages with uh, all the information will be there. Now a second uh, event for students that we can um, uh, tell you about uh, from Monash University. Two days later, on Thursday, the 17th of February, 2022, starting at 10 o'clock, and both of these activities are starting at Flinders Street Station, uh, which will appear in the end of this episode. To, uh, if you've never been to Melbourne, or if you've um, uh, uh, been here and you were studying here before COVID, and you suddenly had to go home, and uh, you, <laughs> you just need you just uh, need something to help you uh, uh, get familiar with Melbourne again why not take the Melbourne University Royal Botanical Gardens tour walk. These are hosted walks, mind you. You won't just be uh, wandering aimlessly around the laneways or through the Royal Botanical Gardens with people that uh, also <laughs> have students from overseas. No, these are hosted tours uh, by a local expert, not us, of course. Uh, but highly recommended, definitely uh, consider taking these. They're free, of course. Check all details on the Monash University website, the international student pages for further details because you do have to register. There are further details about Monash University's orientation week for international students that'll be presented in a separate episode over the coming a uh, couple of weeks. There'll be uh, many new episodes uh, coming up on our channel, so please make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell for more videos because that way you guarantee that you won't miss out on new episodes and we will be catering uh, 
uh, to specific universities. So you might have to um, uh, worry about trying to work out which episode has information specific to your university. We'll be putting up separate episodes. Uh, coming up next, uh, we'll keep, uh, keep on keeping on. RMIT University. If you're a student, uh, uh, attending, uh, you're enrolled in a course at RMIT University. Their open days for international students um, uh, are starting tomorrow, the 14th of February 2022. There is a, uh, a welcome day at uh, the RMIT City Campus uh, between the hours of 9.30 and 10.30. Uh, uh, don't worry if uh, this, you think this episode's light on for details. We'll have a separate episode for each university uh, coming up uh, soon. The main idea of this episode is just to give you a brief introduction to all universities in Melbourne. Um, so those details for RMIT, uh, again, starting tomorrow, um, and also on Thursday the 3rd of March for international students and another one on Tuesday the 15th of March, uh, the 15th of February, I beg your pardon. But uh, the event on the 3rd of March is an all-day event starting at 10.30 running until 3.30 in the afternoon. But again, please check the university website for details. We can't accept uh, uh, any uh, responsibility for errors or omission of information. Now the next one on our list is Swinburne University uh, out in uh, the, the eastern suburbs of Melbourne uh, on the uh, Belgrave and Lilydale line. Um, I, actually a short story as the camera is now in Flinders Street and we're making our way uh, along the tram stop on the western side of Elizabeth Street. We're just making our way back to the entrance of Flinders Street Station and shortly you'll see the camera um, uh, disappearing, uh, taking you through the subway uh, at the western end of Flinders Street Station platforms and it'll come out on the Yarra River. But uh, I did actually, in the last uh, couple of months, I was asked on a train by a, a, a Chinese, a young Chinese lady who uh, didn't know where she was going on the train as it travelled east into the suburbs towards Box Hill where she was living, working in the city, and uh, she was catching an Uber every day from Box Hill to the city because she didn't know that she could get a train at, uh, at a very cost-effective uh, ticket price into and out of the city each day. So if you're a student, uh, you certainly don't want to be wasting money every day on an Uber or a taxi because you're running late or because uh, you're not organised or because um, your, uh, your Google Maps are confusing. Make sure that you get familiar using these orientation weeks at every university. There's an international student support team at each university that will only be too happy to help you. In fact, they are paid. <laughs> They're paid to help you settle into life in Melbourne and support you through your journey uh, as you complete your studies and, uh, and uh, acclimatise to Melbourne. So please make sure that you use those resources. Don't be afraid. Get over your anxieties. Uh, there's plenty of help around and that's why this channel exists. We want to help you settle into Melbourne and, uh, and provide just a little bit of extra help and resources as you study in Melbourne. Uh, Swinburne University. Um, their uh, orientation weeks, uh, the days, uh, there's a single day that we've found, but again, check their website if you're not sure. In fact, we recommend it uh, to make sure that you, you verify this information. Uh, check the Swinburne University uh, International uh, Student web pages, Monday the 21st of February uh, from uh, uh, 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock, and a second session for international students from 1 o'clock to three o'clock. Make sure that you attend. And it's worth noting actually that some of these um, orientation sessions, we've noticed that it is compulsory. You must attend as part of your uh, enrolment activities. You must attend these orientation sessions. Uh, why? We'll uh, have another episode um, explaining why that's the case. So. As, uh, as the video is now winding down, we're uh, just nearly um, uh, finishing here with uh, the video. We're at the Yarra River, uh, finishing our, our uh, walk through Melbourne. Uh, the University of Melbourne, the University of Melbourne 
uh, their orientation activities are on Monday the 21st of February, Tuesday the 22nd and Wednesday the 23rd. And finally, uh, Victoria University, which uh, we have uh, a lot of experience with uh, this institution. Um, Victoria University, uh, their orientation activities uh, are out at Foots Footscray Park campus for their international students um, on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, uh, we'll just double check this, Wednesday the 16th of February, um, uh, 10 o'clock until uh, one o'clock in the afternoon and the second session we'll just get that up now uh, the following day Thursday the 17th of uh, February that's actually this coming week uh, if you're in Melbourne and you should be by now if you're a Vic Uni student enrolled in their program um, that that session is also the identical time Thursday the 17th of February from 10 o'clock until one o'clock So um, that's all we have for you now in this episode. We've somehow managed to uh, fit all the information in. Uh, the other thing I would like to say and uh, just remind you is that uh, this channel is, uh, um, we are based in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, we have, Wise Words Media has a lot of experience in international student uh, education, uh, creating um, uh, marketing video and audio content for international students. We also have a lot of experience uh, settling uh, people from overseas into life in Melbourne uh, since 1979. Uh, we love showing off Melbourne and uh, we love helping people get, um, uh, get familiar with uh, everything this city has to offer. Um, so make sure that you uh, uh, make the, the fullest of everything life in Melbourne has to offer through your university, your international student support team has many activities throughout the year, not just orientation week, there's many things to take advantage of, many clubs and societies and if you're a student whose uh, language, English is a second language, don't, uh, don't uh, stop yourself and be anxious about uh, joining in. Get involved, practice your English, find conversation clubs, um, and we'll wrap it up there. You've been listening to This International Student Life. We're based in Melbourne, Australia, and uh, we want to thank you for um, uh, joining us in this episode. Um, and make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, you don't have to pay anything, it's free to listen, free to watch, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.
of information in this video.